The next group of facts we'll tackle are the fives times tables. Here are what the five facts look like on the number chart. Do you notice anything? Yes, that pattern keeps going on and on forever. What do you notice about the last digit of these numbers? That's right, they end in five or zero, switching back and forth. If a number is divisible by five, it ends in five or zero. Here's the old-fashioned way, counting on your fingers. If you can count by tens, you can change it up so you insert that fives fact in between. So five times three is five, ten, fifteen. Five times five is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Five times six, five times seven, five times eight, five times nine, five times ten is fifty. Multiplying five by an even number, that's on the left. Notice anything about them? Any ideas why? What about the odds? If you multiply five by an even number, it ends in zero. Why? Because an even number is divisible by 2, if it's also divisible by 5, then it's divisible by 2 times 5, or 10. 4 times 5 is the same as 2 times 2 times 5, or 2 times 10. Regrouping numbers like this is a really powerful way of figuring out problems that look hard. We can use 5 times 5 as a shortcut to get to 5 times 6. We say 25, and then jump. 5 times 6 is 30. Or 5 times 2 times 3, 10 times 3. Half of 6 times 10. For 5 times 7, 25, 30. 35. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 8. 25. 30. 35. 40. 5 times 8 is 40. Half of 8 is 4. 5 times 9. 25. 30. 35. 40. 5 times 9 is 45. And finally, 5 times 10 is 25, 50. 5 times 10 is 50. Hey, once you've practiced these, there aren't that many more to fit in, are there? Can you fill in the ones you know? The legal stuff.